What's up guys, it's Greg, and in this video you're going to learn how to install WordPress at Bluehost, and by the time you complete this video, you'll have your own professional WordPress blog or website live, just like the blogs that the pros run for the whole world to see. We're going to hop into Bluehost in a minute, but first I thought you might be wondering why I would make this video. Well, I have a lot of friends who talk about making a website, they have great ideas about music, art, fashion, fitness, culture, finance, whatever but it seems like the one thing holding them back is just having a place to put all those ideas. And starting a blog is the simplest way to launch your ideas, your business, and also to attract a relatively large amount of followers in a small amount of time for a dirt cheap cost. The second reason I made this video is to show you the power of do-it-yourself, aka DIY. So many of us think we have to pay someone to set up WordPress for us, but in this day and age, it's gotten so easy, you can set it all up as you'll see here without any code or tech knowledge required, and that empowers you with so much confidence on the internet. And the third reason is I wanted to just make you a video that was quick and complete. I've noticed that so many other tutorials out there show you how to install WordPress and then just leave you hanging with an empty blog and a bunch of white screens that doesn't look like much at all. Not the case here. So that's that. If you're wondering why you use Bluehost, well that's easy. Bluehost is the number one recommended host by WordPress themselves. So not only do a ton of new WordPressers use Bluehost, but WordPress themselves works with Bluehost to make Bluehost features even better. Bluehost is also incredibly fast. You need your website to be fast in order to be user friendly and to please Google. And perhaps most importantly, when you use Bluehost, I'll show you how to get a massive discount on your hosting, which can totally help when you're on a budget. I'll also show you the path to get a free SSL certificate, and of course, how to get a free domain name. Now, in order to make sure you get those three things, the huge discount at Bluehost, the free SSL certificate, and the free domain name, just make sure you use our special Bluehost link for this tutorial, which is just dearblogger.org slash Bluehost. I'll give you that link beneath the video, or you could just click on any one of the Bluehost buttons on our complete Bluehost review here, which will take you to Bluehost and the right screen to get all of those nice things. All right, guys, so I'm ready. If you're ready to go ahead and grab a cup of coffee, tea, water, soda, whatever it is you like to drink, hopefully not the soda though, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started, all right? And feel free to play around. There's gonna be a lot of other features you'll find on WordPress and in Bluehost, and I'll leave you links on how to do cool things like get viral traffic or set up email marketing in the notes below the video as well. That's my last piece of advice, is just have fun. All right, so to get started, I am just gonna open a new browser tab here, and I'm just gonna enter in Dear Blogger, that's D-E-A-R-B-L-O-G-G-E-R dot org slash Bluehost, and hit enter. All right, very good. This will take us to the new Bluehost landing page. They just updated all their graphics here. I think that's awesome. And we can see right away, we get our free domain name registration in the first year, which helps a ton. I think I paid $15 for my first ever domain name, Honest College, which I got from GoDaddy. So you get to save that. You also get the free SSL certificate included, so Google knows your site's secure. That's especially important because I think now, like in Chrome and other browsers, we're using Chrome, by the way, for this tutorial. You'll see a warning if a site isn't secure and doesn't have this little padlock. So you want it to say connection is secure and yours will be able to do that for free. You also get the one-click WordPress install so you don't need to know any code to get the job done today and 24 seven support. And perhaps most importantly, we've locked in our 50% off discount at Bluehost. So congrats on that. I should note that I am a registered affiliate partner of Bluehost, so if you go through our special Dear Blogger Bluehost link and sign up to Bluehost, I will earn a small commission at no cost to you. The cost will actually be less because you'll lock in the special discount and all these features, and that just helps me continue making YouTube videos and helping people every day for free. So. Thanks a lot, that's just how that works. And basically, if you use my link, I'm committed to helping you here as long as you need, and I love you forever. So the first step to installing WordPress is gonna to be to click Get Started, but you also might think you need to click WordPress Hosting. That's actually a more advanced package with a bunch of sort of fluff, I guess, for lack of a better term. And we don't wanna do that because it doesn't really show you how real web designers use WordPress. I wanna challenge you to go the route that traditional web designers do, and it's literally like 1% harder, but you'll be happy you did in the end because you'll know more about how a real WordPress blogger website works. So that's just the traditional route here, and we're gonna do it this way to keep it simple. All right, so let's click Get Started. 
Now I want you to focus your attention on the basic and the plus plans here. Basic plan lets you run one website, whereas the plus plan lets you run unlimited websites and gives you $200 of marketing offers, which is something to consider. There's also the Choice Plus and the GoPro. If you're one of those people who has a little bit of extra cash lying around and wants to splurge on the most advanced plan here. But in our case, I know the basic plan works great. It's the cheapest way to install WordPress at Bluehost, and that's why we're going to use it. And you can always upgrade through the Bluehost live chat at any time later on. All right, so let's hit select on basic. Great job, so it's gonna ask you for your new domain name now, or maybe you already have a domain name that you got somewhere like GoDaddy or Namecheap or something like that. If that's the case, just pop it in right here, proceed to set up your hosting and WordPress, and once you've installed WordPress, I'll show you how to connect the domain name to the hosting and make them all synced up. But in our case now, we wanna get a new domain name because we've locked in that free domain name offer by using our special link for this tutorial. So that's another reason I really say use that link is because you make sure you get the free domain name and you get to all the right screens. A free domain name is such a plus and you can brag to all your friends that you got a free domain name when they probably didn't. Or, you know, not brag, but you know, just feel good about yourself. All right, so we're gonna pop in our new domain name, which is just gonna be bluehostwebsitewp.com and we're gonna hit next. Ah, so I actually did that on purpose, and if you see the yellow screen at Bluehost, that means that you have to pick a new domain name because someone already took that one. If you can't think of a domain name, your first name last name is always a great idea, super brandable, and you can talk about any niche from your name.com. Plus, you want to know where your name.com goes if you ever become famous someday. You really want to control that. In our case, I'm just going to choose a slight variation, which should work, or you can always put like a keyword after your name, whatever you do, like Amanda Smith blogging or Joe Johnson plumbing or something. Next, you can choose the extension. We just want to go with the .com because it's the most recognizable. If you're talking about your site at a conference, people are most likely going to visit whatever you tell them .com. Also, it's the most profitable if you ever decide to sell your website, but there's no negative impact on your search engine rankings if you choose another extension. All right, now let's click next. Great, this domain name is available. So now it's time to just create our account. We're gonna skip the sign on with Google because I actually don't know how that works. And we're gonna go down and choose the account information. So basically just like you're shopping at Amazon, Home Depot, Target, Walmart, Apple, Samsung, Microsoft, wherever you shop, we're gonna pop in this information. And I'm just gonna enter in my fake Malibu, California address. Hey, a guy can dream, right? Now we'll scroll down and choose our package information. So in account plan, in this dropdown, you'll see that the price will decrease for the longer months you register for. So I've run WordPress for almost 10 years now and I've had the hosting for almost 10 years. So, you know, if I had known that on day one, I probably would have gone for the largest term period, which would be 60 month. But, you know, I went for the 12 month on day one because I just didn't want to get locked in for too long, but I also wanted to give myself enough time to try Google advertising, try having people write content for my blog, and just building my name. So 12 months is a really good sweet spot. But like we see here, you'll get the better discount if you go with 36 months or more. Believe me guys, the amount of revenue earning options available to you once you have a nice looking WordPress website are infinite. I was publishing posts for people for $100 at a time, I was posting advertisements for $50 a month. I was making $100 a month on Google AdSense, and this was all back in like 2013 and 14. So the cost can really pay for itself once you make this initial commitment just to get going and get live. And I'm happy to help you with any step along the way. All right, so we're gonna move down now that our package information looks good, and we're gonna choose some package extras, or rather just unchoose them. So some people like domain privacy protection because that makes sure that people can't find your name and email address, telephone number, stuff like that. But I generally think that someone can find that if they tried hard enough anyways, like on the white pages. So I generally trust people and I uncheck that to save a little bit of money. And I'm also gonna uncheck the other package extras which you can add on at a future time if you want. All right, that got our cost down and our total is a nice little 142 right here with 50% off. So that's really cool. We got 36 months of hosting for $142. For me, that's basically the cost of a nice dinner and a show out, for example, or maybe one night at a hotel room or something where you could just stay at your friend's house on the couch instead and blog it up with them. And of course, if you drop the price down to like 12 month price, then you'll get a lesser number. 
but I really haven't heard from any one of my users after helping a thousand people or more set up WordPress that they regret signing up and buying hosting. It's one of those things that we're all super proud of when we're done. All right, so with our package extras ready and our savings in total ready, we're gonna make sure the payment information is entered. Let's go ahead and pop that in quickly and then complete our domain and hosting order. And I don't mean to be rude and block this out, but I have had the problem of people going on a shopping spree with my credit card before and we don't want that to happen again. So I'm just gonna get this entered in quickly. All right, and once that's done, you can go ahead and check this box at the bottom. And now we can complete our domain and hosting order together. Really exciting to get this step out of the way. Let's do it. We just need to click submit at the bottom and then Bluehost will give us instructions on how to install WordPress. All right, so let's do it. All right, guys, great job. It says, welcome to Bluehost. And it looks like now we just need to create your password so that we can log in and use the new hosting features. So we're gonna enter a new password and it has to match all of their secure criteria. This could be tough. That password is meh. So we're gonna to wanna to beef it up a little bit. All right. And you can suggest it if you need help. Now we're just gonna check that box and click next. All right, hopefully we can get that done. Great, done. So now we're just gonna log in. All right, next we're gonna pick a theme that inspires you, but so that we know that your hosting setup went flawlessly, I want us to just open up our email inboxes and do any steps that Bluehost requires us to do. The first one says, congrats. Thanks for downloading Build Your WordPress website ebook. We can read that later. The next one says, who is verification for our domain name? And there's one last step to activate your domain. Just click verify your email. Thanks, success. Okay, done. Back to the inbox. The next email says Bluehost order complete. So this one should show your address and what you bought. So we just bought the basic web hosting, we got a discount, and we got the domain registration, which is free. And then it'll just show you the amount paid with our great Bluehost discount, so perfect. I gotta say, I think that's a pretty good price there from experience. Back to the inbox, and then we say, welcome to Bluehost. So this is just saying, your account is ready for action. You can click there to get started, and that will take you to the cPanel login. All right, all sorts of useful information that you're gonna need later, like name servers, save this email forever. We don't need it for now, but do make sure to save it, and if you're someone who deletes emails, just make sure you file these away safely. Okay, so that does it for our Bluehost emails. Now we can go back to that theme window, and coincidentally, the theme we wanna use is the number one theme that Bluehost picks, Ocean WP. These other themes are really great. I think most of them are free. We've learned how to make a website with Sydney. Storefront's really good. But for now, we love Ocean WP, and we're gonna use this theme. So just click this button right here. By the way, while it's loading, if you don't see the Ocean WP theme there for whatever reason, you can just click the Skip This Step link and go right into WordPress, and then you can install Ocean WP for free from within WordPress. Okay, once it says all done, just click start building. And because Bluehost is WordPress ready in all their plans, you get those cute little buttons that take you to the right page. All right, so here we are logged into WordPress. What I want you to do now is just click, I don't need help because I'm gonna help you. So we want the totally fresh WordPress install without any specific help. And then you're gonna see the Bluehost logo right here. We'll be on the home page. And first off, it's gonna say your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. This allows you to work on your site without people really seeing what it's all about. I want us just to click launch, and that way when you have a friend visit the site from their own computer, 
They won't see some weird coming soon page that doesn't match your branding. They'll see your actual site. So let's click launch. All right, very good. We can now click visit site and we can see what our site looks like. So it's just a blank Ocean WP site and it looks pretty bad. We obviously have to get to work on it. So let's get to work on it. If you click on your site title in the upper left right here, it'll take you back to your dashboard. Just the same as if you clicked on the dashboard link right here. I usually just like clicking on the site title, which says welcome. All right, we're gonna do a complete tour of WordPress in a condensed amount of time so that you learn everything WordPress is all about really quickly. Uh, but before we do that, I want us to click on users. And then we're gonna just make sure that our user is there. We are the admin, so let's click admin. And I just wanna give you a chance if you want to change your username and to change the password. All right, so the way that this is set up, it's gonna give you admin, but you might want yourself. So it says like, you know, by Brandon or by Jennifer or by whoever, when you write your blog post. So to get that going, just click add new user and then just pop in the username you want. So I like it saying by Greg and then just write in your email address and your name and your last name. And this will just be the preferred way of doing things because when you do it like this, it will just let you feel like it's you logging in and it's not just some admin that was created by Bluehost, it's actually just you logging in. Confirm the password, change yourself from role to admin so you can do everything. Make sure both these boxes are checked and then just click add new user. All right, so now you can log in as the admin or better yet, you should log in as yourself. I'm gonna show you how that'll look now in case you get logged out because a lot of people do when they're using our tutorials. You can log out manually by hovering on the upper navigation in the right hand corner and clicking log out. And then all you would do to log in, let's say you are just on your domain name.com right here. You just put a forward slash after the dot com and write log in and hit enter. And then you go to the WordPress login screen and you just write in your username and our password we just created and click remember me and bookmark the screen, book, bookmark, book, bookmark it for later use, click done and log in. Okay, so now we're inside WordPress and the next step is 10 steps to master WordPress. We're gonna go through all these tabs and then we're gonna make a complete website using OceanWP theme and also the Elementor page builder, which is super hot right now.